my message, my message to the federal government is for them to do the needful. And I hope that the new president will stand up and do what is needful. Not only for widows, there are other segments of the federation that need help. Because Nigeria belongs to everybody. Without everybody, Nigeria cannot exist. So they should, they should be able to help, to help those people who don't have enough. There are laws in place and we are grateful. They give them food stops and we are so grateful. But we also want to get that bridge between the laws and the practicalities. Sometimes they go to police stations, like we were told, and the policemen will tell them that it's a family matter, that they should go back. So we just need the government to be more involved, make group, groups, support groups with the widows, and attend those groups. I think uh, the, in the budget of the state and the nation, they should consider uh, the widows in their budget. Uh, and uh, also uh, roll out programs for the, for the widows and their children. Widowers, widows, because we, we also have widowers. I'm a widower, uh, but I, I'm grateful to God because I belong to uh, an organization, a church, that takes care of the widowers and the widows. Some residents of the FCT have called on government and well-meaning Nigerians to cooperate with auctioneers to enable them achieve set objectives. Kabir Lowell in this report finds out how residents at all levels can be educated and have access to auctioneers. His report. The National Association of Auctioneers President, Musa Kura Abubakar, expressed readiness to collaborate with other stakeholders to make the association worthwhile adding that the association will work towards helping to build a strong and sustainable economy. The Nigeria Association of Auctioneers, <coughs> with its widespread membership across all the geopolitical zones of the country, has continued to reach out and mobilize our teaming population to embrace peace. You have to pay PEMCOM, you have to pay NSITF, you have to pay ITF, and this is what we pay every year. When you finish paying all those ones and you renew all those documents, you now approach the DPP, they will now give you clearance that you should participate in any auction that is taking place. Without that, no ministry or no any agency of the government will reach the national they will not accept you or even if you apply that. Unless all your documents are up to date. The vice president of the association, Alosios Ngokoro, said the group will always make it a duty to enlighten residents in remote areas on the association's activities. We do create what we call poster advance, something like this. And we take them to the streets, place them all over. Those who are passing by, who don't have money to buy this weapon, raise them and also join the auction. And that's why, in most cases, when we're doing auction, we come there, you see a large crowd, and you'll be asking, where did these people come from? We invited them. It's because of the way we reach out to the public. A cross-section of people that spoke to Trust TV News said the association still needs to do more to make people have access to them at all times. Government should make auctioning more pronounced in Nigeria by making the platform more open and as well as um, using the internet services such as newspaper publications and other means of publications, print medias and the rest of them. The National Association of uh, Auctioneers are not doing badly, uh, at least in terms of uh, uh, promoting the, 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 the profession, uh, because already they have made a mark by signifying the importance of the profession. But then, of course, there is a need for them all right, to actually start propagating the, the, the the association and the profession so that people are able to recognize the importance of auctioning. The Nigerian auctioneers said it is ready to ensure that all national assets auction get a better deal while money is realized from sales to get to government coffers. Kabir Lowell, Trust TV News, Abuja.